Hey everyone, welcome to Dozen of Tech, I'm Daniel, and in my previous video I unboxed and gave you my first impressions on the Apple Watch. And after spending about two weeks with the Apple Watch, I made a list of five things, five features, which I consider to be the best features of the Apple Watch. So, enjoy my top five Apple Watch features video. This one. Enjoy. Coming in at number 5, we have the customization. The amount of customization you can put into this watch is insane. From picking between different casing materials such as aluminum, stainless steel and gold, each with two different color variants, to choosing between six different bands, again, each with two to three or more color options, the Apple Watch is by far the most customizable smartwatch you can get. And after picking your casing and your band, you can personalize it even further with watch faces. So the Apple Watch comes with 10 different watch faces. Utility, Modular, Simple, Motion, Astronomy, Color, Solar, Chronograph, Mickey Mouse and Extra Large. And each of them has an amount of personalization that you can apply to it. So for example, if we pick the simple watch face, we can change the amount of detail we get by either making it extremely simplistic or by giving it an almost complex look. Then on the second page, we can adjust the color of the second hand. And finally, the third page is where you add your widgets. Widgets such as alarm, stopwatch, sunrise, sunset, calendar, and so on. If we pick a different watch face, such as the astronomy, you can see that the customize button doesn't even appear. So you cannot change the look of this in any way, or can you? Well, this watch face comes with some really neat tricks. First, by using the digital crown, or by simply touching the Earth, you can not only see your location, but also the Earth's orientation in the next few hours. Tapping the bottom right button will show you the entire solar system, and again, you can see the future position of the planets by adjusting the digital crown. Double tapping on the screen will give you a list of all their names, and finally, tapping the bottom right icon will take you to the moon, where you can see its stages, again, by adjusting the digital crown. So the amount of detail that has been put into this watch face is insane. And fun fact, if you have the moon on your screen, before the Apple Watch goes to sleep, when you wake it up, you'll have the moon as a watch face. How cool is that? Coming in at number 4, we have Siri. So you can activate Siri in a few ways. One of them is by pressing the digital crown for a few seconds, and the other is by simply saying, hey Siri, while the display is on. And Siri works basically in the exact same way as on the iPhone. So you can ask for weather updates, sports updates, you can ask her to remind you of something, set an event on your calendar and all that kind of stuff. But what makes her so much better than on the iPhone is that one, she's always on her wrist and two, all you have to do is say, hey Siri, and she's there. On the iPhone, you could only do that if it was plugged in. Hey Siri, what's up? And to be honest, with the Apple Watch, I'm now using Siri every single day. So before you go to bed, you can simply say, hey Siri, wake me up at 7. And now the 7 o'clock alarm has been set. And no, unfortunately, with the Apple Watch version, you don't get any audio feedback at all. But still, it works great. Next up, we have the battery life. So at first, I did not expect the Apple Watch to make it through a full day of usage. And to my surprise, well, it does. Apple managed to fix their battery issues by most likely reducing the CPU clock. Reason why sometimes it's not as fluid as you would wish. But the battery on the other hand is amazing. So just to give you an idea, after a day of moderate to heavy usage, so checking notifications constantly, opening a few apps, workouts and activities, I usually end up with 10 to 20% battery life at the end of the day. But when I'm not using any third-party apps, when I'm simply just checking my notifications, which is essentially what a smartwatch is for, well, I end up with 70 to 80% battery life at the end of the day, which is really, really impressive. That's even better than on my iPhone. So just checking notifications and monitoring your activity a few times a day could last you for even two days. And just as I mentioned in my impressions video, in case you want to extend this even further, you get a power reserve mode, which kills all the main functions of the watch except for the time. And with this, you can get it to last for three to four days, maybe, maybe even more. Coming in at number two, we have something which I'm not so sure how many of you are aware of. So you probably know that the Apple Watch can measure your heart rate, and that's great. And to do that, all you have to do is go to glances and slide to the heart rate monitor app, wait a few seconds and boom, that's, that's my heart rate. But what's even more impressive is that the Apple Watch measures your heart rate 
automatically every 10 minutes. So you can be asleep, watching a movie, other lectures, anywhere you want, and the Apple Watch will measure your heart rate without you having to do anything. And then you can view your entire history in the health app on your iPhone and get a really in-depth look at your heart's health. This is especially useful when you're at the gym, since if you start a workout app, your heart rate will be continuously measured and you can see it at all times on the display. Now, fun fact, there is apparently a blood oxygen level meter in the Apple Watch, but for some reason, maybe FCC approval Apple hasn't activated yet. So in a future update, besides measuring your heart rate, the Apple Watch will be able to tell how much oxygen you have in your blood. Pretty cool. And finally, my favorite Apple Watch feature is obviously the most useful one, and that is its seamless integration with the iPhone. So those two devices essentially act as one. First, there's a thing called watch mirroring, so if you alter any settings on your phone, they get mirrored onto the watch. For example, if you enable do not disturb mode on your Apple Watch, it automatically gets enabled on your iPhone as well. And if you disable it from your iPhone, it gets disabled on your watch. And same goes for the airplane mode and different notification settings. Then, if your alarm goes off on your iPhone, you can hear and feel it on your watch as well. And of course, dismiss it directly from the watch. And believe it or not, the Apple Watch even supports handoff. So if you're reading an email on your watch, you can continue reading it from your iPhone. And same goes for the calendar and all first party apps. Open up something on your watch and continue using it on your phone, exactly where you left off. Off. And since you get all of your notifications on your watch as well, you can directly reply to messages, even emails, right from your watch. So anything you do on one device gets mirrored onto the other. So, there you go, these were my top 5 Apple Watch features. Let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite feature. Also be sure to give this video a like if you have enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you in my next video. Zenoftech, signing out. Cheers.